today uh, we went to Basmane. It's a neighborhood in Izmir, but unfortunately it's in super bad condition. Uh, let's say a lot of refugees and like poor people are living here, and uh, the municipality and the government is not taking uh, enough uh, to kind of better uh, the situation here. Oh, this really looks like a ghetto. Uh, it seems Dikat Nikolavidir, which means uh, it may collapse. <laughs> but people are living here still. Nice. So it's still standing. We went here to see uh, two museums uh, and, and the church. And the museum is Radio and Democracy, and one is the Journalism Museum. And they're really, really nice places, but in, in let's say, a bad position in the city, so I guess they're not very well known. So we are going to the church. The church is called uh, Aziz Vukulos. It's an Orthodox church. And there is also İzmir Gazeteciler Cemiyeti Basın Müzesi, which means um, Museum of Journalism. Even before the Syrian war, it uh, has a long story of uh, hosting refugees and so on. It used to be one of the luxury neighborhoods, but in time it lost its um, kind of value. And now it's one of the most affordable places which is close to the city center. That's why uh, refugees, especially the Syrian refugees right now, uh, prefer to live here. Mm -hmm. They don't prefer what they have to. The house? It is beautiful because uh, I think it's one of these old uh, Greek uh, houses which has uh, this uh, kind of a balcony mm -hmm. uh, which is called Jumba. Yeah, it, used, it, it should have been a very nice uh, place but now you can see that it's not in a good condition. And why nobody's taking care of it? <laughs> it needs uh, a lot of funding. There are lots of lots of buildings like that, so well, I just guess that they cannot repair every single house, it needs a big investment. Since we arrived to the neighborhood, the only place that I heard some Turkish was inside the museum. After this corner, after the train station, <laughs> that's like another city, another world. <laughs> 